Ooh, the subscribers certainly know a January movie when they see one, because they predicted that I'd give this one a C. And yes, this is definitely a first of the year type movie. <laughs> Welcome back, January! So, the 355 is certainly a movie that exists. It has actors, they say lines, there are action scenes, there's a plot, and when it was over, credits started. And by the time I'm done with this review, I'll barely remember what happened in this thing. It made so little of an impression. This is a movie with an all-star cast all coming together to look bored as shit. There isn't a single standout performance in this, as the actors all just say their lines to power through it, with barely any emotion whatsoever. It's almost mesmerizing how much Sebastian Stan looks like he would rather be anywhere else than in the 355. There's even a scene where he just rests his head on his hand to get through a line, like, okay, I think we need to do this, or we need to go over here. It's not like there's really any good lines that give them something to work with, because this is the kind of dialogue made up of stock spy movie lines, like one spy goes up to another after having not seen them in a while, and the other one says, I take it this isn't a social call. My favorite is when they're interrogating a henchman who is pretending not to speak English, and then when they translate wrong, he goes, Hey, that's not what I said! And they're like, Oh, I guess you do speak English. Hell, what do you expect out of a movie where the title isn't explained until the last scene? And yes, this is one of those movies where the last shot of it is in the trailer. As for the plot, they all come together because they need to find the device. <laughs> okay, whatever. There's a couple of things that happen here that are even far too serious for a movie this dumb, and it makes it tonally a little weird. The device thereafter brings down a few passenger jets in one scene, and then in another, the villains just execute some of our hero's loved ones. I appreciate this movie getting real a couple of times, but that belongs in a much better script. Everyone in this is just dumb. There's a double cross that happens halfway through, and it's like, oh yeah, no shit. I predicted that the second the character walked on screen. Sometimes the villains will just let the heroes go for no reason other than, well, someone's got to stop the bad guys at the end of it. This is stock January throwaway action, just crapped out in theaters. Some of it doesn't even feel finished. One shot of a guy talking goes blurry for no reason. Some of the shooting scenes look like they're practicing. The dialogue is weirdly echoey in a lot of parts. One guy is even shot in the chest about seven times, and then when it cuts back to him, no blood. For a lot of it, I was writing the C category because it's just that mediocre and completely forgettable, and I wasn't passionate enough about it to give it the honor of something lower. But at the same time, I can't really think of much good about it, so I'll go with a D+. This movie is like going to the theater to see a pilot for an action drama series that would air on the ABC network and then get canceled mid-season. Alright, that's enough of that movie. Check out our recent video on the best films of 2021, and stay tuned next week because we'll have a review of the new Scream film. And until then, see you next time.